Hey, what's up guys? It's CJ Nguyen. I'm back here today with another video on today. I'm going to be covering exactly how to use marketplace in order for you to sell an extra five to 10 cars every single month. And I've been putting together this video, um, just based off of what I've helped all my other clients do. Um, you know, they average at least three to five, uh, and 10 car sales a month, anywhere between that range every single month, just by knowing how to use marketplace consistently and effectively okay so i'm going to just go in today and just show you guys kind of the behind the scenes of the sauce of how we've been able to do that okay so i'm gonna go ahead and just share my screen with you guys and so today today's training is going to be on facebook marketplace like i said i will be coming out with other uh trainings here sometime soon on you know how to use facebook instagram TikTok, how to create content that sells Facebook ads and stuff like that, et cetera. Drop a comment if you want to see more like that uh, stuff in the comments. Let me know what you want to see specifically. Uh, and uh, that aside, I'll hop straight into this. So one of the first few things that, you know, you have to consider with Facebook Marketplace, a lot of the results um, that you will see specifically with the amount of views and the amount of clicks and the amount of messages that you get will be strongly dictated by the amount or uh, the quality of the local Facebook groups that you join, okay? So if you're on face the Facebook desktop browser, what you're gonna wanna look over oh, on the left-hand side is for this, big button or big red arrow pointing towards this button called groups. What you're gonna wanna do is go ahead, This, if this is from your home screen, click on the button that says groups, okay? Because of the fact that the quality of your groups is going to dictate the quality uh, and the, the views that you get on your post. And that gets looked over a lot of the times because what Facebook allows you to do is allows you to repost your marketplace post to 20 different groups, which allows you to get more exposure to those listings. Okay. So for, with that being said, you want to make sure that you're leveraging your groups to the highest capacity. And this is how you do it. Okay. So to share with you guys quickly, what do you want to search for in the search bar when you're on the groups tab after you have clicked on groups? What do you want to search for? Okay. So you really want to boil it down to these few different categories that I've boiled it down to that will give you the best results from what I've seen working with my clients. So for this specific example, um, you're going to want to join 20 Facebook groups. I recommend 30 because you're going to want to obviously split test and, um, see different groups, how different groups do for you. But the first type of group that you're going to be looking for is brand specific groups. Okay. Because you want to find these groups because they will have people that like a specific type of brand are in are in there because they like those types of cars. Okay. So for example, if you work at a BMW store, Jeep store, Ford, or Lexus store, you're going to want to search in the search bar, BMW, of Seattle. So BMW of whatever local surrounding cities as well. So look up, look, look that up. And it could be Honda of Seattle, Hondas are of Seattle, uh, Hondas of Pacific Northwest, things of like that nature. Or it could be, um, you know, Lexus of Atlanta, right? Lexus of Atlanta is pretty big out in, in that area. One of my clients, he says, uh, he's been in that Facebook group and he's been able to sell quite a few cars from there. Uh, alone with a different method that I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'll make a video about it in the future. It's actually really low key, but it's a really strong method uh, and that you guys can use this in synergy with uh, Facebook marketplace. But moving forward, uh, the next type of group that you're going to be wanting to search for is a model specific car, uh, model specific group. Okay. And the cool thing about a model specific group is that these people will literally buy a car from anywhere in the States. Okay. You just have to get creative and you'll find plenty of groups. So for example, what I mean by a model specific group is that if you work at like a Ford store, then you should join, uh, you know, the Shelby group, the Bron like the Bronco groups, the Raptor groups, the Mustang groups, 
It's because those people are enthusiasts about those specific cars and those specific models. Okay, so for example, with Chevy, you know, join the Corvette group, the Camaro group, um, and any other cars that Chevy is really known for. And for example, with Toyota, you know, you can join the Tacoma groups. People love Tacomas. And then the super groups, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And so the reason why these groups are great is because you want to post a specific type of vehicle in there when you have it into those groups because it will do the best in those specific groups because those guys love those cars. They're enthusiast groups and it will absolutely crush it. So model specific cars, you guys will know what models are most popular for your specific brand. So for example, if you, you know, sell Dodges even, you know, you join um, Hellcat groups, Mopar groups, stuff like that, right? You, this is where you guys can get creative, okay? This is just a framework for you guys to follow. But um, the next group is going to be local buy and sell groups, okay? So you don't want to just go willy-nilly and buy, uh, get into any buy and sell group. What you're going to want to get into is um, groups where they have a high volume of members it could be anywhere between 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, even 100,000. It's just whatever is the biggest group that you see in your local area. And what you're going to want to look for is a good amount of engagement, okay? Because you don't want to just join those groups where people just post and they don't engage and they don't really even say anything. And it's just like really spammy. You're not going to get any, uh, you're not going to get any hits off of that group. You're not going to get a lot of exposure either because people are just spamming the group all day with uh, a bunch of different vehicles. What you're going to want to look for is a, a lot of people and good engagement in that group. So be careful with which groups you pick. Just those are the two main criteria for a local buy and sell groups. Okay. So literally look up uh, buy and sell of, you know, Seattle, buy, buy and sell of Washington, buy and sell of you know, a uh, local surrounding city like Renton, or I don't know, whatever state state you guys are in, um, or a province, wherever you guys are at, just type in your local area, buy and sell. Uh, the next one is Highline for Highline and unique car groups. So if you sell like, you know, Jaguars, you know, or you sell Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Porsches, you know, the higher end stuff, what you want to do is you want to join these wholesale groups these wholesale groups are absolutely crush it. There's a lot of people that move a lot of metal in that industry. So you're going to want to leverage those wholesale groups. You can join JDM specific groups if you sell those type of cars. Uh, supercar groups for sale. Those those would do well if you sell supercars. And then even, you know, you can get into the more niche things like, oh, um, you know, local, you know, diesel truck groups, uh, four by four groups. Um, you know, Jeep Wrangler groups. Um, like I said, you can get pretty, you can get pretty creative with this. Mopar groups, off-roading groups, like just start looking and start thinking creatively of, okay, what group of people would I want to show my inventory to? That's what you got to think. So uh, with that being said, the reason why groups are so important, I want to reiterate this point and drive it back home again, is because the quality of your groups and it will dictate the quality of your results. Or the quality of groups will dictate the quality of your results, okay? And so it'll take time to know what groups work best for you. However, different types of cars, uh, different types of cars and different types of groups with time and just pure volume and consistency which is just extremely important. I'll tell you guys why that's important later in this video. With that and time, you'll understand what groups do best and you want to keep tabs so that you can put specific cars in specific groups to get the best results from your marketplace post, okay? So I'm going to jump straight into how you even do a, a marketplace post in the first place, okay? So if you're on your homepage for marketplace overall, right? What you're wanting, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to head, you want to go ahead and if you're on the home page on the left hand side, step one is clicking on marketplace right above the groups. Click on marketplace. And then what you're going to want to do is it's going to pull up this tab over here where you're going to have these different options. What you're going to want to click on is then create a listing. Okay. So once you create a listing, 
you then select the vehicle that you want to fill out. Um, you want you then want to select vehicle for sale, which is then going to take you to this page where you want to fill out the listing. Okay, so uh, you're going to want to add your photos, and for um, most of the time, you, you're going to want to add three to five, at the most seven photos. Right? And I'll tell you guys as to why um, I I go with those numbers in the first place. In the next slide, um, but then you're going to want to fill out the the year, make, the model, the price, and everything in between uh, just to fill it out real quick. So when you go in to write a description, uh, here's an example of a de description that you can write out. But the reason why I picked three to seven photos in the first place is because it leads more to the imagination, okay? In, in a lot of people like to snap every single you know, crevice and orifice of a, of a car. But with that being said, that takes more time. And two, it leaves no question to the imagination. So, um, for, ex for this exact example, um, you know, my grandparents asked me to help them sell their vehicle and I was using marketplace. And as you guys can see, I only put five photos over there. Right. And for this exact example, um, it did extremely well because of the way that I took the photos. Um, uh, they look nice. Uh, you can, it leaves a lot to imagination for the car, uh, you know, and the way that I write this description. Okay. So this description, one of the best ways that you can write a description is write a story that can describe the vehicle. Okay. So I'll read to you guys this description and I'll tell you guys as to why I wrote what I, what I wrote. Okay, so this car has been in the family since it's rolled off the production line. It's only ever had one owner and has been meticulously taken care of its whole entire life. We've never missed a service on it, and it's fully loaded, clean inside and out. All right, it's been fully, it, it's been driven by my grandparents, but now that they don't need it anymore, but now that they're old, they simply just don't need it anymore. It has a fresh set of, of tires on aluminum wheels and has 130,000 miles, but it runs like it's brand new. It's well-maintained, and of course, there are very minor blemishes on the exterior, as with many cars, uh, as with any car being made in the early 2000s. You won't, you won't find one of these in the condition now, uh, condition nowadays priced like this. All dealerships have insane markups selling this car in junk condition for over $10,000. If you're looking for the first car or a reliable work truck or a strong daily driver, this is your car. Don't hesitate to reach out to me. The post is up. Yes, it's still available. Serious inquiries only please. So copywriting 101. I just sold the car without even selling the car, without you even being there, right? Because now you can literally, even if you weren't looking at the photos of the, the vehicle, you can literally picture what it looks like, right? And so um, that's essentially what the whole point of writing a story is. And because I wrote uh, a story that like this, it resonated a lot with the people that were checking out the vehicle. And, you know, I got a ton of people that reach out to me, at least one to two, maybe three, and some days even four or five people in a day that would reach out and ping me for this specific vehicle. Um, we decided to keep it, but with that being said, I was getting pinged every single day with not only the right the right vehicle, but with the right description, the right photos. It was it was a great mix in order to get this car up um, and getting a lot of the the leads that we did okay and so that is one great example of how you can piece together a um a post obviously for efficiency sake you don't have to be this detailed every single time and i'll explain to you why uh, efficiency consistency and volume is more important than anything else you know don't get too tied up in the description too much or the uh, the pricing, the images, whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll tell you guys just a little bit as to why that is. But with the the photos and the description, I don't want you guys to just gloss over it. It's still important to some extent. But I'm just showing you guys good examples so that you guys can keep these things in mind in the future. Okay. So this is another good example of some other people that were able to uh, put up a decent marketplace post. So what I would do is look at this type of post. And make a template, right? Like have like a list of features that you fill out, right? 
and then like the the mileage the year uh, and then have like a section where you talk about like you know your financing options if it has a clean car title etc cetera, etc cetera. just like have this list and then or have this template and then you can just reuse it if you want to uh, work more efi efficiently and effectively uh, from what i've seen the stories do work well but this works just as well if you focus on the next few things that are extremely important uh, the photos don't have to be too fancy like this but then notice again it's they have six photos nothing too crazy you don't want to get too uh, photo happy because moving forward the most important thing is uh, efficiency so that you can have uh, consistency and volume okay so this is kind of the process that I would lay out for you guys in order to be effective with your marketplace posts. So like this should be a part of your daily routine every single day. So for you guys who are like, oh, man, I really don't have any leads today. And I wish somebody would call me and I wish the Internet Department or the BDC girl would give me more leads. Well, <laughs> this is what you need to be doing. Like this is this is a free tool. But despite the point, um, here's kind of a process that you can follow when you get into the dealership is that on one of your days, you know, go in and snap multiple photos of uh, snap photos of multiple cars in one go and get set up for the whole entire week. This is personally how I do it. Go in, just boom, 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 just take snapshots. If you're taking photos of a car, uh, I would recommend kind of pulling it out somewhere where you wouldn't have a bunch of other cars in the um, in the photo itself. If you can't do it, Done is better than perfect, okay? That's with any post. And you guys will notice uh, when I go into future videos about how to do um, Facebook posts and stuff like that uh, as well. But with that being said, take a bunch of photos or you can even find what works best for you, but this is what I would recommend. And then have a stockpile of photos and then make a template of that description I was talking about. So like every day, boom, 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 boom. You can just crank out a few marketplace posts every single day, Okay. And so at the end of the day, what I just shown you is the secret keys. It's the it's the nitty gritty details. It's the nuance that would separate uh, just a regular guy just doing it on his own from a, a sales professional operating at a high level, selling five to 10 cars a month with Marketplace would be doing. That's all the, the behind the scenes that allows those guys to do an extra five to 10 deals a month from Marketplace alone. But what is the main key, all of that secret sauce aside, the main levers is consistency and volume. Consistency and volume is the key with Marketplace, okay? Because at the end of the day with Marketplace, you have to understand that, okay, here's a fit. Marketplace is like a pond, right? This is one of the ponds I can go and fish from. But... With that being said, if you only have one line in there, it's not likely that you're going to catch as many fish. So, like, you want to put out as many lines as you possibly can so that you can fish in, uh, you can reel in more, um, you can reel in more fish every single day, okay? So, a minimum of two posts a day. I have some guys doing five posts a day. I have some guys doing 10 posts a day. And that's what you should really be doing. It's not that hard. It would, it would be so, it doesn't even take you more than 30 minutes a day. 30 minutes for you to sell an extra, you know, five to 10 cars a month. It doesn't take that much time or energy. A lot of the time, the reason why people fail with Marketplace is because they're lazy or they just don't know about it or they're just not consistent. All, oh, yeah, I use Marketplace. Yeah, but you only post like three or four posts in a week, <laughs> if anything, right? Like, how are you going to get any results with that? Um, uh, one of those things just popped into my brain. Uh, keep up all of your posts, even if they sold, just because if you get a hit, then you can switch them because 80% of car deals, you end up switching the, the vehicle anyways. So with that being said, leave up all your posts and you should be making posting on Marketplace an everyday standard. This should be a part of your daily routine because there is there will always be times where you have at least 30 minutes a day to go outside, snap some photos of a car and put it on Marketplace, right? Without these two things, you will fail on Marketplace. Again, I want to reiterate how important this is. This will make you successful on Marketplace. I promise you this. Consistency and volume. Just more posts every single day. More posts every day. More posts every day equals more car sales because what you're doing is you're putting out more fishing lines 
that get more views and more bites, more leads, which equals more sales. It's really simple. It's really, really, really simple uh, at the end of the day, what this is. So just to put some expectations on it, you know, you will have, you know, the bots that come across, you know, but you have to understand that this is a free tool. Okay. There's going to be a lot of dirt, a lot of time wasters that you're going to have to sift through in order to find the legit buyers. They're out there. You just have to sift your way through them. A lot of the time I hear people complain, it's like, oh yeah, well, you know, this person wasted my time or like these people aren't serious, you know, like this and that. I'm like, dude, it's free. What do you expect? Like, you, do you expect these guys coming in with the 800 beacon with $5,000 down that can afford your guys' payments? Like they're out there, but it's not going to be very common. Okay. It's not going to be very common. You're going to have to work these leads. You're going to have to work them hard. Okay. So with that being said, it's a free tool. So you want to leverage it to the highest capability. It's free. It's literally free. It, it doesn't take any time, money. Uh, it doesn't take any money to do this. It literally just takes some time and energy, which I know if you're watching this, you have that. Okay. So at the end of the day, if you stay consistent, and you put out a good amount of volume, you will at least do three to five deals off the of marketplace easily. That's that's at the bare minimum, right? Five to 10 deals is realistic if you're just doing you know five to 10 posts a day. Even if it's two posts a day, just be consistent, put out the volume. There's no excuses for you to not be posting consistently with volume. This is a free tool. You need to leverage it to the max. Like I said, reiterate that point, okay? With marketplace, you get out what you put in, okay? So with that being said, that's all I have for you guys in terms of this training uh, for Marketplace. Hope this was valuable for you guys. If um, I'm going to be coming out with some new trainings in the future, and that's going to be on how to use uh, you know, your Facebook, how to post content on your Facebook, grow your network on Facebook so that you can sell more cars, uh, how to leverage like TikTok and Instagram and short form content to actually build a brand and an audience. Like, I know, I know the, the word brand gets thrown around a lot, but actually build a loyal following. Uh, I can kind of do a case study of some of the other guys and break down um, what types of posts that I have them do on a regular basis in order to do this. Um, and I'll also be going into some other in-depth stuff about like uh, Facebook ads and stuff like that. So if you want to see more of that stuff, let me know what you want to see specifically down in the comments. Uh, it lets me know, you know, how I can help best serve you specifically. Um, and if you liked it, you know, drop a like, you know, give me a comment on whatever it is that you would like to see in the future. If you want my help specifically in terms of, you know, generating more of your own leads and learning how to get more car deals, then uh, just book a time with me down below. My calendar is in the description. You can then uh, spend some time with me on, uh, you know, on a call. You see if you're a good fit for my program. No pressure at all. You can just see if uh, you're a good fit to get guaranteed results. And if you're serious about scaling your business to fifteen to thirty thousand dollars a month in car sales and actually building something, then hit me up. Uh, but with that being said, subscribe for more content like this, and then I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.